this is just a quick video showing how you uh, embed photographs in your eBay descriptions. Uh, basically, it's using standard HTML markup. This is the uh, HTML version of the description of a particular item that I'm going to list on eBay. And I have three photographs that I want to display in the description. If you hit the standard tab, then that takes you to uh, the WYSIWYG view. You know, what you see is what you get, where you can see the uh, fonts that I'm using and what the ex actual photographs will look like in the eBay description. So looking at the HTML, uh, you have a, a code that um, you have uh, H1, H2, H3, so forth. Those are typically used for uh, headings and titles and those kind of things that makes your text look larger and uh, darker and the, the characters look thicker. And then you can also have a uh, sub tag in there called a line and you can align it left, center or right. Okay, but the main one the main tag that we're looking at here for the photographs is the image source MIG space SRC equals and then quotation marks and then the actual link to the file or you might call it a URL universal resource code. And uh, that starts on, always starts on with the HTTP if it's on a if the if the file is located on a web server, and then the double forward slash, and then the name of the website. In this case, is ImageStorage.us, and this is a folder on the website called uh, October 2012. Another folder under that called Apuntia, and then the actual species name called Stenopatala. Uh, a number indicating that it's uh, identifying a particular plant and then the letter representing which photograph of that particular plant it is and then of course you um, always in the file name with the JPEG and then uh, add the wrap the URL in quotation marks and then brackets for the image source and then the, the, the P here you have a P at the beginning of the line and a P at the end of the line that's just uh, for a paragraph so that sets the photograph off on its own space so there's not another photograph or text beside it then you just duplicate that for the other photographs that you want to appear in the description. And of course I distinguish those other photographs by a different letter. Right, so I have three photographs and each one is A, B, and C. And that's basically it. Once you have that set up, once you have the file posted on your um, web server, and you did the transfer by FTP, then um, as long as all the characters are correct, it should show up. And that's what it's going to look like in a description. Okay, that's it.